Just in time for some of these days off the kids will be having. Mr. Science is back with some great experiments. Jason Lindsay also has a new book, Big Science Experiments for Little Kids. Jason is a STEM certified educator, science journalist, and a digital meteorologist. Good morning, Jason. Congratulations on the new book. Good morning, Larry and Robin. How are you? I hope you're safe and well. Yes, and uh, tell us about the new book. So basically, it's 20 of my favorite science experiments that use ingredients from around the house. At the top of each page, you're going to discover something called a messy meter because we know science can be messy. You and I have done plenty of experiments to prove that. Also, how long it's going to take for each experiment, the ingredients that you'll find right there at the house, and step-by-step -step instructions. Larry and Robin, basically, it encourages kids to start thinking about science at an early age and encourages them to take science beyond the classroom window. That's great. Okay, what are you going to show us? First experiment. So it has to do with eggs. You'll notice a few things that I've done here. I have water bottle tops on top of my egg and an egg in the middle. Now that is a raw egg. I have eight of those eggs right here. Eggs are super strong. This one is in the book. So I'm going to place a board on top. I was outside earlier and grabbed this gigantic brick. No. Okay, I'm going to set this on top. You think they're going to crush? Oh, yeah. For sure. <laughs> here we go. Set it right on top just like that. And voila, no, kidding? they're not crushing. You know why? Why? Do you have a hypothesis? It's all about distribution of weight. So uh, we're taking the weight that. of the concrete block and we're spreading it out among oh, all uh, of the actual eggs. You know, if I could get up on top of the table, I would stand on top and they wouldn't break either. Really? Yeah. You can't jump by all means. But yeah, you can distribute your weight. You know, if I was in studio, we could put Robin on top. Larry, what do you think? Mm, it might break then. <laughs> all right. Oh. <laughs> How about the gassy balloons? No. Let's talk about Larry. Gassy? You're saying Larry's gassy. Always gassy there at the new yeah. set? Okay, so I have a bottle and I put some vinegar in the bottom of it. On top, I have a balloon that's filled with baking soda. When I mix the two together, a chemical reaction is going to happen. That chemical reaction Whoa, is going to fill up that. the actual balloon, and you will notice it keeps going and it uh, keeps going. Uh, uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Electronic devices out of the way. <laughs> this is one of those messy ones, by the way, that will be really messy, especially as it pops. Whoa. Everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. That All is right. great. And the gobble goblet. Yes, basically it's called a turkey in a cup. We'll call it that, make it simple. Notice I put a turkey on there. There's my cup. I put a hole in the yep. bottom and threaded a string through. Listen up. Do you hear a turkey? <laughs> yeah, what the oh, heck is that? that? Yeah. <laughs> Vibrations moving up the string are amplified by the cup. That's three wow. experiments you'll find in the book. There's a lot more. How well, about that? Look at that. that. Well, I, for more, you can follow Jason Lindsay on social media or check out hookedonscience.org. Jason, great stuff. Have a great Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. You too. <laughs> <laughs>